me, like when I'm out there, it's about being out there. Whether it's, you know, you're in the middle of the forest by yourself and when you are going fast, you're in that moment, you're having fun, you know, like the wind is blowing and you're floating through the air or you nail that section right, you know, like you hit that next right hand corner perfect. It's just those, it's those moments. For me, I don't get that anywhere else. When that is happening, that's it. That's what's going on. That's all your focus. That's what's inside your brain. Like that's, you just, you're there and uh, nothing else matters. The mountain bike may have been invented in Northern California, but many old timers would say that it was perfected here. And pretty much since the day that one mountain bike turned into two and then three and then four, they've been racing them in Crested Butte. America! This one's gonna be hard for the simple fact of the altitude. The base of Crested Butte is 8,500 feet and three days of racing. Kind of nervous in a way. I guess being competitive is is deep somewhere in the human psyche. That was a cool stage. Really nice. Wow. Fast and crazy. You could call some of us adrenaline junkies. It just pushes you, it just gives you that something, that reason to to really dig deep, try things, keep going, yeah, not stop to reach the finish line. I guess all the things that kind of drive us and attract us by racing are, you know, it's probably the risk element is, is, is deep in there. It's what, you know, drives so many mountain sports, so many action sports. Sadly, last uh, weekend we, um, uh, well, I guess one of our, one of our riders, uh, a fast guy, uh, by the name of Will Olson, um, sadly lost his life and, Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the that's the other side of it. I suppose that's the kind of thing that we all know might happen. They say it's a matter of time, a thousand days, and the sun won't shine before I come back to you. Ride a bike fast down a mountain, and you'll understand. Will understood. Head out with a quintessential Colorado mountain biker. He'll be the first to the top and the first guy down. Will was this rider. Then devote yourself to the mountains. Let their beauty and their adventure shape your life. Will would. Smile, speak softly, but ride big and bold. Then set this all aside. The adventure, the vistas, the charging down the mountains for a love even greater, a girl named Bonnie. Will did. I go solo, oh, I go solo. I'm making my way, oh, I'm making my way. One man, a hero amongst his friends, strong, skillful, and fast made us all stop in our tracks. Will Olsen loved to ride and excelled to race. Sadly, Will was never to finish stage three in Crested Butte, but his passion lives on in all of us. And I'm high. Will Olson, 40 year old from Colorado, is all, instantly I'm like, I know Will Olson. I hung out with this guy for a couple days last year at the Crescent Butte Ultra Enduro. Him and his buddy were kind enough that they rode with me all the way to Doctors Park. It was like a three hour transfer. Asked me tons of questions. It was driving me nuts in a way because these dudes are so fit. They're just like not even breathing. I'm like, you guys keep asking me questions and I can't focus on breathing. 
you know, Will was like, we'll get to this awesome river. Well, he's like, ah, oh, man, we got like 35 more minutes. This is awesome. He's telling me all about Doctor's Park and it was cool. It was cool to hang out and he's wicked fast. What's cool about racing is a very good question because there is so many aspects. And that's probably what's cool about it actually. Going as fast as you can, achieve seconds here and there, and just uh, riding that fine line, it's a uh, adrenaline rush. It's what you strive for, you know, every day you get out on the bike, you want more, you want to keep progressing. If I don't feel like I'm moving forward, I feel like I'm just wasting my time. It's just you, the mountain, the trail, your bike, and you've got to put everything together, strategize and get stuff just right. Then when you start missing the races and you see other people racing, you realize how hungry you are to get back there again. But most of all, I really enjoy riding my bike and I enjoy that challenge. Plate number 139 would never finish the race in Crested Butte. But on Sunday, the racers in Colorado would do the thing that Will loved far more than lining up on the start line. They would head out on a ride. Friends, new and old, side by side. Sunday was hugely powerful. To see everyone come together and reaffirm why it is we do what we do. I think it's just made us appreciate like what's really going on and what matters in life and we are lucky to be doing this as a hobby or a job. At the end of the day we are just riding bikes. We seek solace in the mountains, forests, valleys and meadows. Our bikes allow us to reach places unimaginable, through fields of wildflowers to peaks and ridgelines. Our lives are non-stop, packed with action and adrenaline. The World Series goes from stop to stop, exploring trails, winning races, crowning champions. In Crested Butte, that all changed. We move on with heavy hearts, but in the knowledge that Will Olson will always be with us.